Blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche, another rotor in the night. <laughs> this little freaking tuft of hair right now needs to f off. <gasps> yes. Hi guys. <laughs> um, I was actually gonna film this sitting on my couch, but <clears throat> because. I kind of want to start to be, now that I'm doing uploads on Mondays and Fridays, that day, those days might change a little bit depending on what happens after quarantine, everyone's back to normal life. I just want to know and see what days are best for you guys and best for me. But, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I kind of wanted to start doing some videos that were like talking about things where I'm not really like doing anything in the video, but just like just sitting here. Um, and I thought it would be kind of one of, it's kind of like a podcast almost. Like you could just put me on in the background of whatever you're doing and like just listen to me talk. Cause that's all I've ever wanted in life is people to listen to me talk. We're making each other's dreams come true. You're fucking welcome. I'm so dumb. Anyways, um, I don't know if my wine glass could get any bigger. It's literally the size of my face. I kind of, since I'm going to be, basically the point was, since I'm going to be committing to uploading two videos here and one on my pet channel every week, it might be kind of nice if I didn't necessarily have to put a makeup look on, like, because tomorrow is Monday, today, when you're watching this, and I needed to put up a video, but I'm like, I already have my makeup on, like, I don't really know what to do, but I do have things to talk about. So I thought it might be kind of nice um, to just talk, and you guys could have this on in the background. I'm repeating myself at this point, so let's uh, just chat jive let's drive right into it i actually shaved my legs today and my legs are so soft good thing my boyfriend is nowhere around <laughs> wonderful this is bogle pinot noir this stuff is so good so how are you guys how's it going um today i <laughs> I, uh, all, I've, I've been uploading on TikTok a lot, which I've actually had an absolute blast with now that I've actually kind of learned how to use it. I feel like to just be like, where's my background? Like, look, is my background? Okay, so it's not working over, over here. Let's, I'm gonna hang on, hang on, hang tight. To flip my monitor over and just see you like, oh. Oh my gosh, look, we almost have no wall showing. There we go. Um, so today there was like an in, I got a thunderstorm, like severe thunderstorm. Oh wait, we were talking about tick. <laughs> I've had a lot of coffee today. Oh, you're the best friend. So as I was saying, um, I've been uploading a lot on TikTok. It's been super fun. Some of the highlights. Five, six, eight. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. So just saying, like, if you're on TikTok and I just killed this gnat right on this beauty blender. That's disgusting. Oh my god, he's still trying to survive. I will survive. No, you won't. You fucking won't. <laughs> I've been uploading on TikTok a lot and I've been having like a ton of fun with it. Um, I'm just remembering how much I love this foundation. This is a uh, holy shit, my brain, you guys. <laughs> Is it the coffee? Is it the bright lights? Is it the wine? We may never know. This is what I'm wearing right now, the Derma Blend. So I've been loving TikTok and um, that's been super fun. So if you're on TikTok, uh, go ahead and add me on there if you feel like it. And also Arctic Fox is on TikTok as well. Uh, the Arctic Fox team is like crushing it on TikTok. So just gonna leave that there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze, it's so bright in here. Holy shnikey, my lashes almost just flew right off. Fucking gnarly storm hit Nashville today and like the storm sirens were going off. Um, and I just put out like my deck furniture out here and I posted, I actually was watching Dirty Dancing out there last night because I've never seen it before and I still haven't seen the full thing because I got tired. There was 50 minutes left and realized it was so long. It's like never ending story long, like Star Wars long, like long, long, long. So um, 
I just put all the furniture out there and then this morning I forgot to finish putting my TV cover like fully on good, like with some light involved. Last night I was trying to put it on when it was dark and I had a glass of wine. So uh, anyways, my cushions are all over my deck and I didn't um, get to it in time. So let's hope that none of them flew over the side and are gone forever. I wanted to update you guys on my breast augmentation journey, if you will, because obviously this whole thing hit and my surgery got postponed. I actually have filmed bits and snippets from the very beginning, from my first appointment um, to uh, basically the last time it got rescheduled. So I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about where I'm at with that, what's going on with it, how am I getting it done yet? So I've had a lot of people ask, and I've seen you guys ask a lot in the live, um, Instagram lives in the comments, like, hey, are you still getting your breast augmentation done? So I am still having it done. It's going to be, <sighs> dude, it's already May, holy heck. Um, it's going to be on May 19th and I'm hoping that it doesn't get rescheduled again. I did message them about a week ago and I was like, hey, um, are you, are we still game for my appointment? She said yes. So hopefully it's still happening and uh, I think elective surgeries are back on track. Um, at least in, is it Oregon, Washington? There's a few states now that um, elective surgeries are happening again. So hopefully that's the case because I'm gonna travel out there and get that done. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited and anxious to like have my new boobs. Like I swear I, I actually would have already had this done and it would have been the perfect timing to have gotten my breasts done because I would have had all this time to recover right now just sitting inside my house. So I actually was meant to, I switched doctors kind of last minute. I think I was supposed to get it done in like a few weeks or something like that and I switched doctors which I talk about in um, all the stuff that I've already filmed. So you, you guys will see that. I kind of wanted to make a video about the process of like meeting the doctor and like how what that looks like and trying on, like just, I feel like there's not a lot of information about there about the like process from like start to finish. It's kind of more like post-op videos that I've found on the internet where it's like, or like, yeah, it's like, oh, here is me going in and getting them done and then here's me waking up. But I haven't seen many that's like, here's my appointment where I try on the different sizes and stuff. So I kind of wanted to do a video that was more, that talked about that aspect of, his, of it too, because I wish I would have known it, like how that went. Like you don't find out until you go. And depending on how the staff is, you don't really know what to expect. Like, am I taking my before and after pictures today? Am I taking them, like, am I not having any taken? Like, is my face gonna be in them? Like, so I hope I did a pretty good job at like showing that. I didn't, obviously I'm not collaborating with the uh, woman that who is doing my boobs. So I didn't really like wanna whip out my camera and just like be all up in her face about it. But I did film <clears throat> a little bit of trying on the different sizes and whatnot. And I feel like a lot of that doesn't get talked about on YouTube a lot. And it's kind of interesting to kind of dive into like, okay, well like this is the size that I want and this looks huge to me, but they always say go a little bit bigger because once they kind of settle into your breast pocket and whatnot. So all of that stuff I kind of wanted to talk about. If you guys have any questions about that, um, you can leave them in the comments here. When I film, I gotta look at my footage and see how I'm gonna cut that video together. I might do another one like this where I talk through it and then insert clips and whatnot just so I can make sure I hit everything that I wanna hit. But if you have any questions about the process or anything, like leave it below and I'll grab some of those questions. I did talk about price, I believe, in the first video that I, where I was like, hey, I'm getting plastic surgery, but I will mention it again. I am, I've already paid actually, I paid like a month ago, which is kind of annoying too, because I've got like almost $10,000 out of my bank account and I don't have any new boobs yet. But I was gonna get my first one March 6th and then I switched, so that's why I was saying it would have been really good if I had gotten it March 6th. Then I would have had all this time to recover, kind of not being able to go anywhere and do anything. Anyways, uh, so I paid, I'm 9,200 for the breast augmentation, but she's also doing some lipo here for my double chin. 
And then she recommended doing some lipo, like, okay, I have a bra, like a little bralette on. She recommended doing some lipo, like right here, so that some of this is gone once I have the new boobs and it'll give like a nicer shape. I had never really thought about that, but I feel like that area right there is like an area that most people can relate to not liking on themselves. Like anytime you wear, and maybe maybe you're not that person and like, that's great. But ever since I was even like young, I would wear these like tube tops and it would just like cut me right here. And like this fat would just be coming over. And it's like one of those things that's like, okay, it's nitpicking a little bit, but if I'm already gonna be out and she's already gonna be doing that and she suggests that and she thinks that it'll look better, like I'm, I'm game. So yeah, I think if I had gotten, if I hadn't been including this and hadn't been including the liposuction in the armpits, it would be a little bit less, but um, I just realized that my light back there is not in the center. It's kind of driving me crazy. I've also had this makeup on for, it's 7.20. I put this on at 3.30. It still looks really good. I haven't powdered it or anything. Pretty, pretty impressive. That's kind of where I'm at with the breast augmentation. And you know, of course, my family has a river trip planned like literally five days after I have surgery. And I think my face is gonna be like wrapped up all funny and whatnot. I really wanna go. So I might just go and just, I won't be able to go on the boats or jet skis or anything, which is like most of the fun. But at least I can drink beer and eat chips and hang out. That'll be cool. I think that um, Nick actually has like a six day period of days off. Um, Nick's my boyfriend and if you're new here, he's a fireman. So he gets like, you know, a week off at a time because they work 24 hour shifts and usually kind of smush together too. Like he's on a 72 right now. So. He um, has like six days off to take care of me and it's so cute. He's like, I'm so excited to take care of you and like just hang out with you on the couch and stuff. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, we'll see how this goes. Cause uh, he's such a good like nurturer. Like he's very good at that, which I love about him. Um, but he doesn't have the best track record in hanging out on a couch for more than like 20 minutes. He's, he's very much like a go getter and like always wants to be doing something. And so I don't know how he's gonna hang out with me on the couch more than like 20 minutes. Watching movies is uh, sometimes very challenging. I actually hate to say it, but I kind of loved when he was sick because he just stayed on the couch the whole day and we could just binge watch TV and it was wonderful. Don't tell him I said that. Dang, this wine is so good. Is anybody texting me? No, nobody cares, cool. <clears throat> So I also wanted to talk about something else, a little update in my life. So I've been wanting to actually get my motorcycle license for a while. I wasn't super serious about it, which is why I didn't do it. But my ex-husband did not want me to, drive, to ride a motorcycle. He thought it was very dangerous, which it is, he's right. And did, just wasn't really interested in it at all. And you know, when you're married, you kind of hang out with that person a lot and you do a lot of the things that you like to do together. And we didn't have a lot in common when it came to things that we liked to do together. So I would find myself being on my own a lot, wanting to do things like camping or watching old movies, listening to old music, going to jazz shows and clubs, going out to bars and having great cocktails, things like that. We didn't, we just didn't really have a lot in common when it came to that. So I was like, if I get a motorcycle on my license, like I'm gonna be like by myself. Like I don't, it's not like I hang out with any dudes that ride motorcycles, like I'm married. So, you know, and I don't know any chicks that ride. So it's kind of just one of those things that I like put on the back burner because he didn't really have any interest in it. Although he used to have a motorcycle a long time ago, so I thought that was kind of weird, but he did have a friend who passed away um, riding a motorcycle, so that might have something to do with it, which you know you can't blame him for. But anyways, long story short, um, Nick has two motorcycles. He just got a new, uh, not a new, it's an older bike, but he just got a new bike and um, it kind of got me re excited about it, if that makes sense. So I kind of revisited the idea of learning to ride because I thought it would be fun to do together, just something to do. Cause we were talking about going to Bali for his birthday and um, obviously depending how everything is, but like I thought it'd be so fun to ride together. And I have always loved the idea of having a motorcycle. So 
I just signed up for my motorcycle course and that is actually on um, May 12th. So that's gonna be just a one-on-one -on -one course. And um, yeah, so I, I did pay the extra money to have a one-on-one -on -one course. It's like double the price because as expensive as it is, I really learn better when it's just me and someone because I always get in my own head about like who's watching me and like how do I look and like, you know, it's just kind of like a human thing. Like even if you don't really fucking care what people think about you, like it kind of just like overwhelms you in scenarios like where you're uncomfortable and doing something that you're not super uh, confident about or, you know, it's kind of like when new people go to the gym, you know, they like are people gonna be staring at me like doing this wrong? Like I don't wanna mess up in front of people. Well. The truth is for the most part, no one's even looking at you, but you have, you have to realize that yourself. And so once you do, it's easier, but I just didn't want to be in a classroom setting like Spanish class back in high school in ninth grade where I was not ready to move on. I did not understand what was going on like at all, but, and I, I raised my hand and grew some balls. I was very shy in school. I raised my hand and grew some balls and like asked the questions that I had like a few different times and I still wasn't understanding it. Like I needed somebody to come over and sit down with me and like work through it. And so we, I could focus, not be worried about people making fun of me because I wasn't getting it and like move on. So anyways, um, I don't want that to happen where it's like, okay, does everybody understand like the throttle and the, you know, the clutch and all that, like, and how to do this turn, like moving on where I'm like, hey guys, sorry to like, you know, pause the whole class, but like rewind for a second. Like we need to go over that again. So I just thought it'd be kind of nice to have, especially with the virus. Like, um, I, th I thought it'd be nice to just kind of have one-on-one. -on -one. And so because of the virus, I had to buy all my own gear. So I just bought, um, a helmet and some gloves and, oh, that reminds me, I need to buy it by the front shield for my helmet. So anyways, um, I, uh, have that on the 12th. And it's pretty cool the one I'm going to because they make it easy. Nash severe weather just treated. I'm like, hang on. I am pretty excited for the class. I'm nervous for the class too. I think, you know, riding a motorcycle can be a little terrifying and scary. And my ideal riding scenario is kind of out in the country and doing like trips to like Julian and back to San Diego. Um, not really like driving in the city as much. I'm sure I will want to take my bike here and there, but I don't really love the idea of like making it my daily commuter. Like I think that's kind of where it gets even more dangerous and you just have to be really aware of your surroundings and kind of just have a exit strategy. So, um, so yeah, my dad actually wasn't super stoked. I texted him. I thought he would be excited because he's got his motorcycle license and he has a, he uh, will buy motorcycles, work on them, and like sell them. So I thought he would be excited because we could like go ride together. He was like more like, and he's like, well, I'm glad you didn't. Hopefully you don't like the class because that's what I was like. I didn't get it because I was like, well, I want to be able to ride it too. And if I don't actually enjoy riding a motorcycle, then, then I have this bike and that's kind of silly. So... I was like, I'll wait, I'm gonna take the class, make sure I like it. So he was like, yeah, hopefully you don't like the class. And I was like, oh, that's fucking rude. Rude as fuck. So good when it hits your lips. I literally told myself that I wasn't gonna drink today because I feel like I've had at least one cocktail. I've been actually really good. I've only had like one beer or one drink each day, but, um, yeah, I've been too busy to eat, honestly. I've been so busy at my own house. So what have you guys been doing to keep busy? Like, I think gardening has been really nice for me. Oh, some of my, <laughs> I did a TikTok about this, but some of my trees have kind of, or my like tomato plants, my peppers have kind of like blown over because of the 70 mile an hour freaking winds outside. So I took these like little bamboo pieces and like stuck them in there and like um, uh, tied some twine around it. So hopefully they're fine. Someone just told me that there's like going to be a string of storms though happening here in Nashville. I really hope that's not the case. <sighs> it's not even June yet. Like June gloom. I get it. But like, come on, it's May. Can we just have some nice weather? I also saw a really funny meme and I'll put it on the screen right now.
Alrighty then. So I think I will close off there. Thank you guys for listening. Oh wait, 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 wait. Don't click out. Hang on. Hold tight. Yes, please. Okay. So my, one of my, I was, <laughs> I was on a conference call with, um, or a meeting with like one of uh, my team members at Arctic Fox and, uh, she's actually our marketing manager and, um, Q, mark my words, dude, Nick's about to call me in like two seconds. He's going to have to wait. She was like, you know what? Cause I watch all these trash TV shows like 90 day fiance. If you watch my Instagram stories, you've seen me screaming at my phone, expressing my opinions about certain people and like certain situations being like, get out now, get the out of the, get out of the relationship. Get out of the relationship. You know? And I'm just like, okay. So anyways, I thought it would be kind of cool to like, and this kind of ties into what I was talking about earlier about making this more of like, like, I don't want to create a whole podcast because I like to be on camera. I think it's fun. And then you can watch my face if you feel like it. And if you don't, you could just listen to it in the background while you do dishes or watch it on your TV while you're doing something like hanging out with your rat in the shower because you're trying to get them like used to you. Only me. Okay. Yeah. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do her idea. So she suggested that she's like, you always have the best commentary, like on these shows, like 90 day fiance and the bachelor presents, listen to your heart and some of those. So she was like, it'd be kind of interesting if you just talked like your Instagram stories, but like in a video where like, you know, listen to your heart Mondays, it's, it premieres. And then Tuesdays people on Hulu get it. If you don't pay for the live Hulu and then, so put it up Wednesday where it's like wine Wednesday, where I sit here and chat about like, okay, let's talk about what happened last night and kind of like dissect it a little bit and like infuse my opinions into it, which I thought was a great idea because I love to share relationship advice. Like I feel like I have a pretty good head on my shoulders when it comes to that sort of thing. Cause I've had so much experience having abusive physically and mentally, um, and just relationships that don't make me happy. So if you relate to me at all as a person or you're Sagittarius, Sagittarius, yep, or both, I think that it could be a fun time. So if you guys like that idea, I would love to maybe get like a TV emoji in the comments or just like say that you're interested in that idea. And like, I'll just gauge off that, like how interested you guys are, but I thought it would be really fun. And in addition to that, if you could let me know what TV shows you'd love to see this on, because I thought about doing a, like a guide to 90 day fiance, because if you've looked it up on Hulu at all, it's a little confusing. There's like 90 day fiance and that's all it is. There's before the 90 days. So you're like, do I watch that one first? Or like, I'm confused. So I thought maybe like a little guide to it would be cool. Cause I've Googled it and can't really find anything, but I've kind of sorted it out about how it goes. So I thought that that one might be fun and just kind of go retrospectively start from like season one and then also listen to your heart was another suggestion and then too hot to handle. I have to say I watched one episode of that um, on FaceTime with a group of people and that show is so bad. It's so bad, but it, that might make it really fun to talk about. And then of course, when we have bachelor in paradise, we could talk about that. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you care? at all about what I have to say. If you're still listening at this point in this video, then I think you're an OG. I think you care. Maybe you're cooking and your hands are dirty and you haven't been able to hit the exit button. <laughs> Either way, thank you so much for listening to me talk in front of my sparkly background. Sending you good vibes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, I'm still recording. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. <laughs> I've been sitting on my phone for like five fucking minutes.